Hey everybody, welcome. I'm so happy to see you. My name is Angela. We're talking this month about things in the kitchen. So today we're going to learn some vocabulary about what these things are. We're going to learn some more verbs and we're going to learn some phrasal verbs as well, as well as common myths about learning another language. So stay tuned, it's gonna be a great class. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and share this video with others. Let's get started. Hey everyone, welcome. Today we're gonna start with some new words. So I have here something that I think is very common in most households. These are lentils. 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 Lentils, excellent, lentils, very good. Something like lentils, these are black beans, black beans, black beans, black beans, black beans, a little faster, black beans, black beans, black beans, excellent. And our last one that we're gonna talk about, these are called kidney beans. They are red. So kidney beans, kidney beans, kidney beans. Excellent, kidney beans. Very good, kidney beans. They are red in color. So I have kidney beans, black beans, and lentils, lentils. All of these three we call beans or grains. Yeah, grains, grains. They are all dry. Before I cook them, I soak them. So a verb we're gonna learn today is soak. So here I have a bowl, bowl bowl yeah my bowl has a little bit of water i can't know i don't know if you can see it but i'm going to put my black beans in the water to soak yeah soak they are going to soak how am i going to do that i don't want to just put them in so i'm going to measure them what do i measure with do you know We use these. These are called measuring cups. Measuring cups. Measuring cups. Measuring cups. Yeah, and measuring cups are different sizes. So look, here I have a big size and a small size. And here it tells me how big it is. So this is one cup, one cup. Let's do them in order. So I have one cup, then I have three quarter cup, three quarter cup, then I have two thirds of a cup, two thirds of a cup, two thirds of a cup. Very good. This one, half cup. Yeah, or half a cup, half a cup. I have one third, one third, one third of a cup, one third of a cup. I have a quarter cup or one fourth. We usually say a quarter cup. I need a quarter cup of rice. <laughs> yep, and our last one, an eighth of a cup, an eighth of a cup, like eight, eighth, eighth of a cup. <laughs> Be dramatic so we get it. Cups, measuring cups can come in even more sizes. These are the ones that I use. <laughs> They're more of the normal, normal ones that we use. So I'm going to use my one cup and I'm going to measure, measure my black bean. So I have how much? one cup and I'm gonna put it 
into the water. One cup. Let's do another. Here's another. So I have two cups. And let's do one more. Three cups. So when we leave something in water, we soak it. Soak the beans. I soak the beans. I soak the black beans. Yeah, I soak the lentils too. I soak them. And I soak the kidney beans. What do we need to soak something? We need water. Yeah, we put it in water. I can't tilt it so it doesn't fall. But you can see my beans. I'm going to leave them all night. Yeah, and then tomorrow I can make black beans with them. Very good, excellent. So we learned this month cut. We're going to learn another word, another verb, which is chop. So normally when we have to cut vegetables, we actually refer to it as chopping. Do you remember what this is? My knife? <laughs> My knife, right? So chop is the same, these are sweet potatoes, they're hard, as cut. So we say, I chop the sweet potatoes with the knife. I chop the sweet potatoes with the knife. I chop the sweet potatoes with the knife. And we have a phrasal verb. Have you heard the phrasal verb? Chop up, chop up. So my mom used to say, can you chop up? <laughs> it sounds funny when you say it fast. Can you chop up the sweet potatoes? So that means to cut the sweet potatoes into small pieces, yeah? So I chop up the sweet potatoes. I chop up, what else can we chop up? I can chop up fruit. I chop up the apple, yeah? Can I chop up lentils? Not really, right? They're already so small, <laughs> I don't really chop them up. Excellent. Let's learn another phrasal verb. Let's say I have these lentils and I want to soak them in this, in this bowl. Has no water. <laughs> so what am I going to do? I'm going to pour out. Yeah, so when we have one container and we pour everything from the container to something else, we pour out the lentils. Pour out the lentils. You can pour out anything that you have in one container or another, yeah? So I can pour out my kidney beans, I can pour out my black beans. Yeah, so anything by tilting, I tilt, if it's flat, I can't, I can't pour it out, but I tilt it and I pour out the ingredients into something else, okay? So practice that. What things do you pour out in your house? Maybe when you cook, you chop sweet potatoes and then you pour them out. You pour out into a, bit, a dish or a pan. Yeah, and then you cook them. Very good, practice. So what have we learned today? We've learned about grains. Do you remember there are different kinds of grains? So the red one, what's it called? A kidney bean, kidney bean, yeah? We have grains that are black. What are these called? These are easy. <laughs> it's the color of the grain, right? Black beans, black beans. And we learned uh, pour out with our lentils, right? Lentils, so lentils, black beans, kidney beans are grains and we learn to pour out. So when you, ooh, we're gonna tilt the pan and pour it from one container to the next, okay? That is pour out. We also learned chop up. So normally with vegetables, yeah, mom says, can you chop? those up, chop up, okay? And we chop up with a knife. Very good, excellent. And do you remember our verb when we add water? We want something to be with water all night, like beans. 
Yeah, we say we soak them. Soak them. Excellent. Sometimes when people are learning English, they tell me grammar is the most important. It's what we should focus on. It's true, grammar is important, but learning a language involves many things. Pronunciation, spelling, adjectives, all that sort of things. If we're only focusing on grammar, we could be losing other really important parts like speaking, okay? So don't worry always about the grammar. Try to remember all the parts. Today, repeat, practice what we said. We have worksheets available that you can also practice with and that will help you. You guys did awesome today. Hello, hello, my English groupies, and thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please hit the like button below. If you want to see more videos, hit the subscribe button. And if you have something to say, please leave a comment. I am Angela, and I want to thank you for watching. I look forward to seeing you in my next class.